Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over the basic features for the gases intro FET simulation. So start off at the FET website, scroll down to chemistry, and then scroll down to gases intro. Click the play button and let's get started. I'm gonna go over the intro first and then I'll go over the laws section second. So if you click on intro, we'll kind of work our way around the screen and look at the different features. Um, I'm going to pump some particles into our container because it'll be easier to kind of show the different features with some particles already in the container. So up here we have a temperature reading. So we've got our thermometer and it's set to Kelvin. But if you would like it to be in Celsius, you can also switch it over to Celsius. I like to leave it in Kelvin. Um, pressure, it is set to atmospheres, but you can also switch it to kilopascals. Um, I like to have the width box checked. It tells you how big of a box you have and you can control the slider to change your volume. So knowing exactly that I have cut the volume in half um, kind of helps think mathematically about what's going on. Um, if you check this box, you will then see an area where you have the heavy particles, how many you have, the light particles, how many you have. Um, you can also add particles this way too. So these buttons will add particles 50 at a time or one at a time. They will also remove particles one at a time or 50 at a time. Down here at the bottom, you can add heat energy and increase the temperature with this slider or you can remove heat energy and lower the temperature with the slider. If you look to the upper right hand corner, you actually have a couple more boxes you can check. Um, this one's gonna be a stopwatch uh, measuring in picoseconds, so one trillionth of a second. And then here is a collision counter. So the collision counter will allow you to select a time period, so five picoseconds, 10 picoseconds, 20 picoseconds, um, and then count how many collisions happen during that time period. If you notice, it's not actually a picosecond. Um, what they're doing is showing you the time scale of how quickly these particle collisions are happening. Um, so if you run your collision counter a few times, you'll get some different results because it's keeping track of the actual collisions that are happening. Now let's look at the laws section. The law section introduces a few more um, useful features. So let's go ahead and pump in some particles to get ourselves started. Um, it allows you to hold things constant. So nothing being held constant means that we can increase and decrease the temperature. We can decrease and increase the volume. We can add more particles. So hold constant is gonna keep something constant. So if we hold volume constant, we now no longer have the slider to change our volume. If we hold temperature constant, we now no longer have the slider to add or remove heat energy. And then there are these where you are keeping the pressure constant, but you are still allowed to add heat energy or remove heat energy. And if you notice, the volume is going to change accordingly. And then you can do the opposite where you are now able to increase the volume, keeping the pressure constant. And then the temperature had to change. So decrease in volume. I have to remove a lot of heat energy to keep the same pressure. Increase in volume. I would have to add a lot of heat energy a much higher temperature to keep the pressure the same. You can still have the exact volume measurements checked for your width, and you can still do the uh, stopwatch and the collision counter, um, and you can drag these around the screen. Hopefully that was useful, and see you next time.